Yo, hello guys, welcome back to the Dividend Investor. I'm back today with another video in my series, Dividend Stock Analysis. In today's video, we're going over the Microsoft stock, MSFT stock. We're going over um, just a, basically a few fundamentals about the company, going over the balance sheets, and obviously going over the dividend yield score out of six as well, using the Simply Wall Street app. But so before we get into the video, guys, if you could please get in the comments, like this video as well, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much in for the introduction today, guys. Obviously, now into the video, you've all heard of Microsoft, huge, huge US company, with a market cap of $1.4 trillion. Obviously, a bit of an executive summary. Microsoft develops, licenses, and supports software, services, devices, and solutions worldwide. So obviously, you've all heard of, uh, obviously, Microsoft um, Windows, Excel, Microsoft Word, all sorts of Office uh, computer programs. Obviously, Xbox, they do produce the Xbox 360s as well. Uh, not the Xbox 360s, what year am I in? Xbox Ones, Xbox One Plus, and whatever. Whatever you, the kids all know these days. I'm not too sure on all the consoles, but yeah, purchase, uh, they do make a lot of uh, games consoles as well. So I, I'm a massive fan of uh, Microsoft. Uh, so let's just go into a bit of information about the company now. Microsoft. Um, ticker symbol MSFT on the Nasdaq GS uh, exchange founded back in 1975 on the system software industry uh, software sector obviously I said they have a market cap of 1.48 trillion dollars with an outstanding shares of 7.58 billion they have over 144,000 employees that was of June last year so it might be a bit out of date but it's a lot of employees the Microsoft Corporation location is a uh, Microsoft Way, Redmond, Washington in the United States. So now let's just have a little bit look into the health of the company now. So obviously they get a how's Microsoft financial financial position? They get a four or six score on the analysis check. So Microsoft short term assets of 170.5 billion exceed its short term liabilities. So obviously that's good. You want to have more cash flow to cover those liabilities. Score number two. Is the short term assets exceed the long term liabilities well? So, again, long and short term, their assets will cover any cost from the liability, which is good. Next, the debt to equity, or equity ratio is 58%, which is considered high. Obviously, you don't want a similar debt to equity ratio. Obviously, you want more good equity than bad debt. This is score number four now. The debt to equity ratio has increased from 36%, 35%, sorry, to 58.2% over the past five years, which isn't good as well, guys. It's the two blotches on the scorecard, really. Score number five. The debt has been well is well covered by operating cash flow with 82%, which is good. Obviously, fits into the equity to debt ratio. And the final score six out um, six out of six. My, my MST. MSFT earns more interest than it pays, so coverage of interest payments is not a concern. So that's good that they can manage to pay off any interest payments they get on the debt. So we'll just have a little bit more into the look at the details now. As you can see, the long term, the final position analysis, the short term and the long term. Obviously, you can see the assets really outweigh the liabilities, especially in the short term and just about in the long term as well. So they have really, 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 really big cash flow, guys. It's a massive, massive company. You can see the debt to equity ratio the debt is the red so as you can see obviously as the debt is below the red that is all that you want in in 2007 16 17 18 around about the debt and equity was a similar on the similar um, path on the chart but now obviously that's spiraled off in different directions which is a good sign also you got to look at the balance sheets they've got a lot of cash short term investments physical assets uh, long term and other assets and receivables so you can see they've got a 66.6 million pound debt but obviously it is covered by any other equity and assets they do have so i won't be too worried about that debt guys a lot of big companies have debts but if they can maintain the debt and keep paying it off which obviously microsoft have approved to do so that's the balance sheets and the health of the company next we'll have a look at the dividend yielding score so we'll have a look like we did with the financial analysis chart we'll look at microsoft dividend and see how it compares on the Simply Wall Street app compared to other companies. So the Microsoft, it only it has a four out of six score, which I always say over three is good. It has a 1.10% dividend, dividend yield. So I was going to analysis, dividend analysis score now. 
its dividend of 1.11% is a not is a notable compared is it notable compared to the bottom 25 dividend pays in the market so it's probably it's lower than a lot of a lot of companies really which average 1.82% the bottom 25% dividend payers score number 2 again i don't consider these as bad dividend a, a dividend yield it's too high isn't usually sustainable by companies and usually do end up cutting it Microsoft dividend yield is low compared to the top 25% of dividend pays in the US which is four, just under 5% so that's the two blotches on the scorecard which I don't even consider to be blotches really not really bad things so next up we have Microsoft dividends per share have been stable the past 10 years <clears throat> so obviously as the share prices go up or down the dividend sort of stays with that region doesn't uh, goal too high or too low score number four is dividend payments have increased in the past 10 years which is good you want good dividend growth as i've said on other companies score number five was reasonably low payout ratio so it doesn't have as a 32.8 percent payout ratio msft's dividends payments are well covered by their earnings which is good they're not going to any, any um any debt trying to pay dividends or anything like that and score six out of six. Microsoft's dividends in three years are forecast to be well covered by the earnings of the 30.5% payout ratio. So, see, so there you go, guys. Microsoft dividend yield gets a four out of six score, which I think is pretty solid. I currently own Microsoft in my dividend portfolio. I think it's a really solid company. Probably one of the biggest in the world, obviously. Up there with the likes of Apple and Amazon and other companies like that. Obviously, maybe not quite as big as them overall, but they're really, really huge, guys. So, you think you could take out of that, guys. They've continue to grow the dividends pay dividends regularly they don't think they've not cut them they've been stable in the past 10 years so i think microsoft in my personal opinion is a great stock to invest in if you're a dividend investor so yeah guys that is pretty much it i'm going to leave you on that today let me know what you think of microsoft in the in the comments section below don't forget to smash a thumbs up on the video as well and boost that youtube algorithm out and get uh, this video out to more people so i'm going to leave you on that guys take care bye